Welcome everyone. So today I am going to show you how to find the seventh root of the number given which is 5066231204636. This looks such a big number. Okay. So the one few things you need to remember is see this number is the perfect natural number with the raised to power of 7. So here when you do the seventh power of a raised to 7 your final answer will be a proper rational natural number this is given to you okay so here now the method which i'm going to apply for this one is because since this is given i am going to start with first understanding how many digit of answers will be there in this particular question will it be a three digit answer or will it be a two digit answer okay so here first beginning with that we'll first see that if we do 10 raised to 7 what i get is 1 and how many zeros so 6 zeros so total how many digits are we looking at we are getting 8 digits okay and then we do 100 raised to 7 that gets you how much 1 and 14 digits or uh, 14 zeros so that gets you 15 digits okay so obviously if this number of digits over here is more than 15 then we can say it is a three digit number if it is less than 15 then we can say it is a two digit number okay so let's count uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so we are having actually 12 digits so obviously we can say that it is not a three digit answer it is a two digit answer this is very very clear to everyone i hope okay so now we can say that this will have two answers or two digits which is let's say a and b now let's talk about the b part see last digit is odd so this is an odd number so obviously then we can say that the last digit b value can be what it can be one it can be three it can be 5, it can be 7 or it can be 9. Now see, 1 raised to 7, 1 raised to 7 will always get you a 1. So 1 is not an option, right? 5 raised to 7 will also get you just 5. So that is also gone. 9 raised to 7. Okay, so let's look at 9. We have 9, 1's are gets you 9. 9 raised to 2 gets you the last digit as 1 because it is 81. Then 9 raised to 3 again gets you 9, right? Because 729, so last digit is 729. We are looking only at the last digit because B is the last digit of your answer. So your obviously 9 is gone. Now let's look at 3. Okay. Let's look at 3. So again, 3, 1's are gets you 3, 2's are. When the power is 2, you get 9. When the power is 3, you get 7. When the power is 4, you will get um, 1 then your power is 5 you get 3 then power is 6 you will get 9 power is 7 you get 7 and I want the last digit to be 3 in this case so obviously 3 is also gone so now the next number is what just 7 okay so obviously you don't have to cross check but here since I'm explaining I'll show you how to cross check as well okay so here what we'll do is see Let's look at 7. 1's are you get 7. 2's are you get 49. So 9. 3's are you will get 343. Okay. Then 4's are you will get. You will multiply 3 into 7. So last digit will become 1. Then 5's are. So 5th power again 1 into 7. That is 7. 6th power again 9. 7th power is 3. Okay. Because 9 into 7 gets you 63. So, 3 will be the last digit when you become 7 raised to or rather when the last digit is 7 and you are raising the power to 7. Okay, so 3 is the last digit. So, by default, now I can say that my B value, B value is 7. Okay. 7 is my answer for B. Okay. Now, let's look at what will be the answer for A. In this case, what I will do is that I am shifting to the next page. Okay. 
so now you are please understand when you have something like this and raised to power is any number what you will do is you will cancel that many digits from your right so we'll cancel how many digits in this case we'll cancel seven digits so one two three four five six seven so all you're left with with is what five zero six six two now what you will do next is we'll try to find the number in such a way that a or rather value of a in such a way that we will get number very close to this number okay but not more than that so now we see 3 raised to 7 we'll check because 2 raised to 7 is very small okay then 4 raised to 7 we'll check 5 raised to 7 also we will check okay now 3 raised to 7 is basically c 3 raised to 3 is 27 so 3 raised to 7 can be written as about 27 into 27 into 3 now 27 is nothing but what 27 into 27 is basically you are trying to do 27 square okay so in that case what will happen is you will get the answer as 729 into 3 so again 700 into 23 will get you what something around 20,000 21,000 okay so <clears throat> one second sorry my bad you will get 2100 okay so that is very very smaller than 50,662 so obviously 3 has gone out of question for us okay so we will try and try find out what will be the value for 4. So again 4 we will write this as 4 is to 7. Can be written as what 4 cube into 4 cube into 1. That gets you what 64 into 64 into 4 sorry into 4. Okay so now 64 into 64 that is 64 square gets you 4096 into 4. That gets you oh sorry. That will get you 4, 2 carry, 37, 38 and 3 carry. So, 3 and 1, 6, 3, 8, 4. Okay, so basically it is 16,384. So, this is the one value for 4. Now, let's try for 5. 5 raised to 7 is nothing but what? 125. Okay, wait, I'll write it properly. Okay, so 5 raised to 4, you will get as nothing but again 5 cube 5 raised to 7 is nothing but what 5 cube that is 125 into 125 into 5 okay so now see 125 into 125 is somewhere around 15,625 into 5 basically you are doing what um, 15,625 into 5 so your answer comes somewhere around 78,000 something something so obviously that is much much greater that is much greater than 50662 and like I had already said that you need an answer which is closer to this but it has to be lesser than 50662 so obviously 5 raised to 7 is not working so from here what I can say value of A is nothing but what 4 therefore you can go back to your question and I can say that the answer the answer for this one is nothing but what 47 seventh root of this particular big number is nothing but 47 okay so i hope you all have understood how to do this that's it for today i will see you in the next video